What is good Foundation Nation? It's been a while since I held the camera to talk to you guys like this, but Trevor and I are starting a new series that we're calling Office Vlogs, Foundation Office Vlogs. That's a tentative name. But basically what we're gonna be doing is giving you a little behind the scenes look into running Foundation, playing some Office games, stuff like that. Probably gonna be a once a week series, provide you guys a little bit more content. But we're gonna start it off with a little disc guessing game because Trevor is pretty confident that I could pull any disc from this inventory we have right now and he'd be able to guess it. Now, that's not a huge ask because as you've probably seen on our site, we're a little low on inventory, but we got some, a few things in here that I think I could stump him with and then we'll see if I can do better than him after that as well. But yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna set the camera up over on the table, grab a few discs, blindfold Trevor and uh, see what he's capable of. All right, we got Trevor blindfolded with a towel. Um, so I've got five discs that I'm gonna be handing to him. I want you to guess the disc and the plastic. Okay. Disc and plastic, so I'll let me show the camera. The first one up. Oh wow, that's super overexposed. There we go. I'm nervous. Oh, oh I already know what it is from the flight plate. What is it? <laughs> this is one of those first 180s. All right, all right. <laughs> as soon as I felt that thin flight plate, I knew what it was. <laughs> You thought you were going to get me. I thought I was going to get you with that one because we don't technically have it in stock. Yeah, okay, putter. Foil seems to cover like a good portion of the disc. Why are you feeling the foil? That's cheating. So, I mean, it's either going to be Luna or Roach. You can try to like read Braille with your phone. Well, I know if it's Luna, it'll have Paul's name too. That's cheating. Just feel the disc and guess. I am feeling the disc and guess. Just guessing. like feel the rim. You can't read with your fingers and on I, the rim. I don't, I don't think, I think this is, I'm trying to remember if we have any other putters for it. No, it's got to be a roach or a loon. It's a roach. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, as soon as I felt, the, felt it, that's when I first guessed, but I was making sure. I'm going to use all my resources. Ridiculous. Okay, mid. Oh, this is some kind of zone. Um, i trying to think. It's not, it's not a get freaky. It's, it's just one of our Z zones, I believe. This is Z-Zone? Z-Zone. It's a tour series, but I mean, yeah, uh, Z-Zone. Okay. I'm not well, gonna, I mean, you, I'm can, not you sure got if I could, they, There's no way you could feel the difference between tour it series. It honestly did feel a little shallow. I, I didn't think about it, though. This one's tough, because I'm between. What are you feeling? The tooling. Yeah, I wanna see. <sighs> there's not a Zeus in this building, which leads me to believe that this is a Hades, another Hades. A Hades? Yeah. It's a Z-Force. No way! Yeah. What are you doing? Wow. How did you not even know that Z? It felt like ES. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, well, final disc. Let me show the camera. Wow. The dome, when I first popped the dome, that was my first thought, but then it felt like ESP. That's weird. Okay. Well, this is definitely a fair way. Rubbing the stamp should be considered cheating. Why? Because that's I'm not part gonna, of it. You need to just hold the rim and guess the disc. Because discs. I had an assumption of what I thought this disc was, and now I know it's not because I know that it's not a circle stamp. I thought it might have been, or is it? See the stamp up here? No, there's more down here, so it's not just a circle stamp. If you wanted all these rules, you needed to put them in place. I just thought they were obvious. Oh, man. Like, it feels like the rim width of a stalker, but I can't tell. It kind of feels off from like a stalker. I'm trying, I know you wouldn't have just pulled a stalker for the last disc though. I don't think we have any leopards. It feels like a leopard. Okay, you're going leopard? Yeah. It's Undertaker. It was? Yes, yeah, it's just a stock Undertaker. <laughs> Let me see it. You missed the last two. And it was, I can't tell the difference with my eyes closed between Z and ESP. You know, I, I ran into that trouble before. It's, it's way harder than you think. All right, I'll let you let put me, these back and then pull five for me. Let me. I'm pretty confident I'll get five for five. Those are my famous last words. Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's no way you're telling them you've never seen ESP and Z. Oh, your thing doesn't have armrests. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, because I got it from a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start with this guy right here. Where you can see that. <laughs> I promise you I didn't do anything malicious. It's definitely Discraft. Uh, it's a buzz. 
plastic. ESP. I think. Is that right? No. It's, a glow, it's a glow buzz. Oh, glow. Okay, so, so it is a buzz. Can you're probably on the right track there because it is a little more. It's tacky. a little gummier. Yeah. Little weird. Next up, we got this here. Oh gosh, this feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> really? Should it not feel good? I don't know. So, I like it. That's a tough one. It's a very generic feeling. It is very. Fairway. Hmm. I mean, I told you fairway, but I think you could have assumed I, that. I, know <laughs> I think you could have assumed that. Um, I don't know if we even have a vulture in the biz building. It feels a little more stable than a vulture. It has this weird, like, rim bead right here. What's that all about? I'm going with a Raptor. Oh, well, plastic. ESP. Yeah. Big Z Raptor. Big Z. Good guess Dang. though. That was a good leap. As soon as you said more stable than Vulture, I'm like, oh, we got it. It's good. It was a good jump there. All right, next one. This one could be interesting. Z Flex Challenger. Okay, I went. I figured that you might get that right away just because there's nothing else that feels that like that. It has a really small bead. Right. All right, two more. Next up we got this guy here. The, what on earth? It feels, oh, okay. Okay, is it a wasp? Yeah. Jawbreaker wasp? Yeah. <laughs> the confusion. <laughs> it felt like it felt sharper in my hand than I expected a wasp to. All right, last but not least, extra hard mode. Feels kind of thick. Too stable to be a Hades. So I'm gonna just go straight to Zeus. Was it a Zeus? No. The crank. <laughs> I no, it it's a crank. The table. <laughs> Well, I was correct, it was too stable to be a Hades. I, yeah. I forgot we even had cranks in the building. You're better at feeling dis and knowing their stability than I am. Well, that's what I rely on. That's why I picked discs off the shelf. I have trust issues with picking discs and then being flippy. Yeah. All right, well, we don't really have too much happening right now. I'm gonna go home for my lunch break and then... We got boxes. And then we got some inventory coming in. You know, we don't really know when. Um, but at some point today, UPS, actually pull up the UPS tracker. Oh, he's getting further. <laughs> he went down the neighborhood behind our house, behind our house, behind our warehouse. Nice. So, um, I've definitely got time to go home for lunch. We're not seeing that guy for another two hours probably. It says it could be here by 3.30 PM, but I ain't buying that. Well, we'll check in once the boxes actually get here. All right. The package has officially arrived. I'll walk you through some of the cool stuff. We just got kind of our last restock of tour series. Um, at least we're planning on it probably being the last because we're heading into the fourth quarter. We got some Haley King Stalker, Missy Gannon Undertakers, Bar and Buzz SS's. Uh, what am I missing? My MJ Comets. Then we got some Jawbreaker Roaches. Missy Gannon. Some Normal Lunas. I think I said the Gannon Undertakers. Haley King Stalkers. Don't know if I said those. Uh, got a decent amount of Discraft. And by the time you're watching this, it will already be on the site. Not sure if it's sold out yet or not. Hopefully not, so you can check out, go over there and check some out. Then we got some DGA coming in tomorrow, so I'll get some shots of some of the cooler looking discs here, and then I'll probably talk to you once the DGA gets in tomorrow, because I'm really excited to feel some of that stuff up. I've never felt some of DGA's plastic, so pretty excited to check that out and kind of see what the molds are all about. Maybe get out on the field and throw them a little bit, um, let you guys kind of know what's going on with those. But yeah, if you're watching this video, they're definitely already on the site, so you can go check them out there. But let me show you some of the cool things we just got in. All right, we're going to start over here with some of the Haley King Stalkers. Actually, some of the coolest ones have like these green swirls in it. Focus camera. Oh, yeah. That one's super sick. Oh, let's see what else we got. I think this one's pretty cool. It's like a purpley green swirl. Um, this one looks pretty sick. A little black and green action. I'm not going to mess up Trevor's sorting right now. He's at Johansson Comets. I uh, got a lot of white ones, which are pretty sick. Maybe we'll send one over to like a dye company. Get it dyed. I don't know. So would y'all like to see that on our site? Do more dyed discs. Speaking of dyed discs, probably already saw this in our Halloween special. But check these puppies out. Here's Trevor's signature. Chick-fil-A. My prison mic. 
Maybe we need to start dying this, Trevor. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't sound too enthusiastic I'm, like, about it. I'm trying to, like, not lose mm-hmm. my count. I'm trying oh, to yeah. lose my count. These Buzz oh, SS's God. actually feel better than, like, any other run of Buzz SS's I've felt. Why, I don't know, but they feel super it's, good. They're still, like, the zones. The Tour Series zones. Oh, amazing. Come yeah, we here. do have some Tour Series zones still in stock over on the shelf. Um, they're, like, they're, like, stiffer and, like, a little more shallow, I feel like. Definitely pretty sick. Then we just got some, like, stock stuff, like the Jawbreaker Roaches over here. Uh, quite a few of those. Can't go wrong with the Jawbreaker Roach. Jawbreaker Challengers over here. Jawbreaker Plastic is just sick. Feels good. Puts great. And then Missy Gannon Undertakers. This one looks sick. Oh, frick. I never even saw this one. I just pulled it out. Mm, the clear one? No. no. It's like red and blue color shift stamp one. That's sick. Where's the clear one? This one? Oh, shoot. Like that? Yeah, there's one of them. There's one that's a money foil. It's like a bluish, whitish. A bluish, whitish money foil. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Their tour series. Pretty legit. I'll walk you over to the tour series zones. We don't have many of these left. A lot of the cool ones are kind of gone already, but they do feel just amazing. Oh, that one's sick. Yeah, but that's pretty much what we're going to be doing the rest of the day. It's just inventorying these. We've got like an hour and a half left in the day. Inventorying these, getting them up on the site, but we're not going to drop them until the DGA comes in tomorrow. Um, but that's when I'll talk to you guys next, once we get some DGA in and uh, give you our first impressions on that. All right, it's the next morning. Trevor's getting the inventory kind of finalized while we wait for our cameraman to get here, Connor, and then we have to shoot the ending of the Halloween video that you already saw and the whole putting video that should have come out yesterday, I think, technically when you're watching this. Um, but you can also tell that uh, Trevor's dressed as Paul Macbeth right now for the, <laughs> for the IGTV video that you should have seen on Saturday, our Halloween special. Why don't you walk people through how you got the outfit you're wearing right now, Trevor? I... Um walked next door i walked into paul's apartment and then into his closet and i took it does paul know you have no he does not <laughs> <laughs> so uh when paul sees this video that should be interesting i'm gonna be dressing up i guess you could say as mr dark horse scuba himself brody smith so i've got my blame the tick tank top um i was gonna wear like some bright colors because he seems to always wear bright colors in his videos but that's not my wardrobe. I don't have any. So unless I went Foundation Nation tank, which is better? The blame the tick. Go the blame the tick tank yeah. over the Foundation Nation tank. The blame the tick is like his tank. All right, we'll go with the blame the tick tank. Um, but yeah, we'll check in again once the DGA gets here. Maybe do a little behind the scenes action of the putting, um, or maybe not the putting video, but I have to get this bunny suit back on for when Connor shows up to do the ending of the Halloween video. So maybe we'll do a little behind the scenes of that. But the biggest thing before we wrap up the video, is gonna be this DGA order, because I really wanna feel it, see what it's all about. Uh, Cause I've never, never touched DGA before. Actually, that's not true. We used what, a Squall? We used a Squall before. That's the only DGA disc I've ever had experience with, so I'm excited to feel it up once it gets in. So we'll see what that's all about. All right, I was on my lunch break, and the DGA box showed up, and Trevor opened it without showing you guys. But we got it all out, it's all separated. So this right here is the Steady. It's their putter, so there's basically a, um, focus there's a beaded rim version and a beadless version um and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i actually really like the feel of this i'm not a fan of beadless but i'm just not a fan of beadless potters in general but the beaded steady i'm not gonna switch on my focuses but they kind of make me think about it i really like it um it's got like a little bit of a gummy plastic i think this is their d line so if you don't know about dga it's made by discraft but DGA has their own plastic line. So like this isn't a Discraft plastic from what I understand, but it's made on their Discraft machines. So it's like- Hold out there, man. <laughs> Gosh. It's oh. like 55 degrees. 
So it's made on Discraft machines, but none of it's Discraft plastic per se. Although this looks a lot like TI. I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna come out here on a limb and tell you right now that this stuff feels money. And regardless of if I'm wearing the Paul Macbeth stolen polo, I'm throwing this mid-range at least 400 on a bad day. <laughs> what, which, which mid is that? Is that the Squall? That's the Squall. I've thrown this one before. Flipped a flat. It's going... I, just, I was zoomed in on the disc and you moved it, so I was zoomed on your crotch. That's kind of awkward. 600 feet. No, now... No tailwind. 600 feet. The Squall does feel pretty good. Um, we got these... What is this disc? Talk, see, I'm not a huge fan these, of the feel of this one. Well... I think it's a little shallow for my liking, personally. See, I... I'm not gonna, I don't necessarily love the feel, but I know this is like the most popular one I feel like that people threw is like their rock. Oh, I like, can see or that. Or their buzz. Like I know Peter McBride, Shasta Chris, those guys, like Aftershock was like their like straight to stable mid that they would have like, a few. So we got that in like D-line, and is this also Aftershock? That's, yeah, it's SP. Okay, and the Champ plastic, which is the SP, Champ. Yeah. And the SP plastic, it, it I like good. the feel a lot better. Yeah. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, whoop, oh. used. I like to feel that a lot more. I think it's just the, the D-line stirring me off a little bit. And what are these over here? Some Quakes. That's just supposed to be over D-line. Um, over here we have Those feel riffs. Yeah, these feel sick. They kind of honestly feel like a modified Buzz, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Like a Buzz SS. Not even, because a Buzz SS like has a little bit more of a rounded the rim. it feels in my hand, it feels like a Buzz This SS. still has that like Buzz-esque rim, but it just feels different in your hand. I don't know, I might have to bag one of these, try it out a little bit. Um, these more steadies. Yeah, some more steadies. I'll stick it on the front of that one. Peel that off. Some more uh, more steadies. The these are the beadless ones. You have some beadless in this box over here, too. I don't yeah, know if you know that. And then the disc you've probably heard of, which is the Hurricanes. So we got some Shasta Chris Tour Series ones. Um, so these are a little bit gummier. Uh, the Hurricanes, like kind of like a Force Zeus type of a disc. I honestly haven't thrown it. I just set one aside that I'm probably gonna bag and try out. Um, and then the SP line has like some uh, metal flake in it. These look pretty cool. Trevor said, what are you calling these? Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. I mean, it's I can like, see it. Yeah, it's like so these will probably be pretty stable, the SP line ones, um, I would imagine. But I'm not sure how the other ones will fly. The one I'm bagging is gonna be this uh, Shasta Chris one. Which I think that stamps is pretty sick. So yeah, and then we got what was the other tour series plastic one we got? Was it the, the Rift? Squall. Squall. Yeah. I didn't These see that. Swirly tour series. They're like a. Let me see that stamp. It's like a flex pro line flex. Nice. And this these feel nice. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll um we'll have to do a video at some point of like DGA only challenge where we each get like three discs and try it out because I don't know how any of this stuff flies. Really? Well, I can tell you how it flies. We've got, they sent us, oh, they flight, send us charts. flight charts. That's right. They sent us a cheat sheet. So let me, we got the, okay, so the Hurricane, it says it's controllable high speed driver, feels great in the hand, is the main driver used by the Team DJ members. Slightly overstable, great for backhand and forehand. Comparable discs, it gives you. So it's comparable to a destroyer, a crank, and an enforcer, and an outlaw. I'm not sure why they're Those sounds it. like all kinds of different discs. Well, the, the crank. The outlaw is, is like a beat up destroyer. Yeah, and so is the crank. So it's like I guess I guess maybe it's like. And the enforcer is more stable than a destroyer, but I guess just that like that speed range. Yeah. Interesting. We'll have to try them out for sure. See what they fly like in the field. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so then we got what we have the squall is uh, comparable to a Buzz SS, a Cobra. Completely different discs, aren't they? Aren't Cobras overstable? No, Cobras are flipping. No, that's Viper. Yeah. So, a Buzz SS, a Cobra, and a Gauge from Legacy. Oh, Gauge uh, is a sick disc. The Rift is comparable to a Buzz, a Rock, or a Truth. Interesting, the Rift. After Shock, they compare to a Rock, a Buzz, and a Legacy Ghost. A Quake, they compare it to a Drone, a Gator, and a Justice. All right, it's probably good we got those in D-Line. And the Steady is like an AVR, a Wizard, or a Judge. Yeah, it has a very AVR-esque feel. Right to it yeah i think all the mids are are kind of similar i think uh the swall is the, the flippiest of the bunch but i think the they're all kind of similar it's just going to be on feel what you prefer i think they're all pretty straight flying mids though putters are going to be pretty straight flying it's really going to be the quake is overstable and then the hurricanes are going to be pretty stable as well pretty fast 
I don't know, it's interesting. All right guys, so that is gonna wrap it up for this vlog. We gotta get all this DGA and yesterday's Discraft online. Plus we gotta shoot that imitation video uh, that you probably already saw of Paul and Brody. Unless maybe uh, we sent it to Paul and Brody and they didn't like it and you guys didn't see it. That's also a possibility, but if you guys enjoyed this style of video, comment down below of what other like behind the scenes type of stuff you'd like to see. Um, we plan on releasing these probably like once a week or maybe once every other week to give you guys a little bit more content, a little bit more behind the scenes look at our, what we do day to day here at Foundation, some office games, stuff like that. So comment down below if you have any ideas for any of that stuff. And check the links in the description below to all of our website, social media, all that good stuff. Like that, we'll see you in the next one.